Hello, everyone. Good evening. Welcome to the my regular stream. I'm Black Cat, if you're not familiar with me. I mainly stream Path of Exile content, though I've been doing some other RPG, sandbox, survival, etc. games. So I picked up Supermarket Simulator because I've been watching it on YouTube a bit. And, uh... It's a fun little game, and I'll be honest, I'm fucking tired today. <laughs> so, today is gonna be a nice, chill, cozy stream, because oh boy, do I not want to do anything super exciting today. <laughs> Welcome to Supermarket Simulator. You'll start with a small store and grow to an awesome supermarket. Start by purchasing goods to sell and place them onto the shelves. Don't forget to set the prices with a profit to avoid bankruptcy. Have fun! So, this game is very similar to what you would expect. It is exactly what you have just been told and nothing else. Eh. No, I want to move you. Oh, closed. Check out. I need to close the checkout first. What are... Oh, you can't move things initially? That's annoying. Okay. Well, we have $50, so we're going to need to order some stuff. Nope, too much. Fences stuff. Gosh darn it. No. I can afford that. Okay. Have sugar. What else? Flour. And a pasta. And we have bread. For some reason, I almost said burb. Yes, we sell burb. Okay, so when you set the prices, market price three seventy one. I'm just going to. I like to go for just even, like even numbers if I can. Make it very, very simple. People don't seem to mind pay overpaying a little bit more than market price. So, and sometimes I go a little bit under just for the sake of having it rounded. Alright, cool. So we got our food in stock. And we got all of our stuff in. And now we can start our first day. Can I not... Open the... Now I can, okay. I guess you have to wait for your first customer before you can actually enter the cash area. Okay, going to give some change. Who pays for $9 worth of stuff with a $100 bill? You, sir, are an asshole. I have worked... I've worked retail before, and I have gotten those people. It's like, oh yeah, we're just going to pay uh, for a $3 item. Yeah, no, 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 here's a hundred. You have change for that, right? No, not necessarily. God damn it, a fifty? Ugh. People are so fucking rude. Alright. Move that over a little bit so I can access the light. Yeah, they'll wait for me. Uh, G, G for good drop. 
Let's see if they'll take five for that. Oh my god. So many big bells. If I didn't have infinite change, this would suck. Managing change in retail is really hard sometimes. Because, like, usually you're supposed to uh, put... It, depending, it depends on what type of retail you're in, but most retail, the ones that do, like, a lot of quick, small transactions tend to have a safe, like, right behind the counter. And you need to fill... Basically, whenever you have a certain amount of money or more, you have to drop stuff into the safe. Because that locks it away, and then it's uh, time-gated to uh, only a security company to come pick up, basically. It's to prevent, like, robbery and stuff, basically. But, because you have to dump things... Dump cash very often, it means that you run out of... Uh, your bills that you could use for giving change. Let's say if someone brings a hundred in and you put all your twenties into the safe because you have a ton of change, then suddenly you don't have anything to do with... You just can't do anything. It's like, well, I could give you $50 in loonies and four fives. Not really any other choice, but... Which is why it sucks so much when people pay for, like, in extremely large bills. When the bill doesn't... When, like, the order... Ideally, when you pay with cash, your order should cover the majority of the amount that the bill is worth. So, if you're going to pay with 100 try to buy at least, like... $51 worth, kind of thing. $60 worth. It matters way more for bigger bills, like 50s and 100s. 20s don't matter as much. I mean... Ideally, you would want to at least be buying, like, $5 worth of stuff to use a 20, but... Most people use 20s anyways for everything, so... Because that's what comes out of most ATMs around here. Oh, I'm eating. I slept well too. It's not even it's not even like I'm just not getting good sleep. Like genuinely I am. It's just I don't know, I've been changing around how my life works lately a bit. I've been trying to I, I tend to do a lot of mental work, which takes a lot of one particular type of energy. So stuff on the computer usually. And I do physical stuff, like I do exercise every day because I have dogs, but not a huge amount. And I'm trying to move some of my fun, like, emotional energy activities to be physical energy, to like balance my life a bit better, to see if that helps me with uh, having energy to do things, and just generally being happy. And, uh, the, uh, well, the thing about changing your life is, uh, it can be a bit tiring at the start, as you are trying to figure your shit out, and, well, uh, it's at the start, so I'm tired. Man, setting everything to, like, rounded prices is very convenient.
the day ends at 9 p.m. So we're, as you can see in the top right, we're almost at the end of the day. Uh, I'm going to have customers who will be kind of unhappy with me because they're going to be leaving without uh, some of the stuff they want, but I don't care. It's the first day. It's better to just wait till your day ends and then stock then. Because if you put thing, if you put things on new sh new products on the shelf that have never been there, they start at, at uh, the price you pay for them, which means that they will be. And my brain stalled. They start at the price that you paid for them, meaning that someone will buy them for whatever, for like really really cheap, whatever you paid. With the products that you, like, already have, it's different. So, when it hits 9, you can end the day anytime you want. You just have to... Hit close, and hit enter to end the day. Oh! Despite the fact that we ran out of pretty much everything at the end, there was not a single customer unhappy. Cool. Okay, we now have bills. You get bills every day. Uh, if you do not pay them by the due date, they will be paid automatically. Okay, so it's 8 a.m., which is when the day starts. You have infinite time in the morning to do whatever the hell you want. So it is good to take... To make as much use of that as you can. I don't have the cereal yet at all. Add a second box of that. Add more bread, add more flour. Yes, I can afford that, okay. No, I can't, because of tax. When you, uh, when you order things, you pay, you pay a shipping fee. If you just keep ordering, like, things one at a time, it will cost you way more in the end. So, I try to do bulk orders where possible. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we don't get bills day two. Bread. Bread? Bread. I wish I could have a trash can inside so I don't have to go outside every single time, but... Hello, hello Cynthia Roberts. Welcome to the, tra to the channel. I am doing great today. How are you? <laughs> Hi, Han. I'm only on day two. I have a baby store. I don't know if I answered. I am doing well today. How are you? Hi. You a supermarket simulator person? Uh... Nine minutes. <laughs> I've played a bit before this point. But, I mean, I restarted since I'm doing it for the channel instead. I've watched a bunch on YouTube. It's a fun game. I'm kind of tired today, so I figured I'd just do something really chill. It's great. I love it. It's not u my usual type of game, admittedly. I am a dungeon crawler, survival, sandbox kind of person. So, I play a lot of Path of Exile, um... Dead Rising, The Forest, Seven Days to Die, etc., but 
No. No, 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 no. This is the first time I played this game on the channel. And the channel's a year and a half old, I think, now? I'm mainly a Path of Exile channel. But I'm on a hiatus from Path, just because... I'm not happy with how things have been going in the game. Just with my builds, though. I'm going to be reworking that quietly in the background. So y'all don't have to watch me do it. And I will be coming back w with path content when I'm more content with what I have. Online games? If you mean games where you actually interact with other human beings, not so much. I mean, technically, Path of Exile is an MMORPG, but... It, not really. <laughs> Wait, something's wrong. That has zero in it. Or that had a one in it. That's not right. Aha! I didn't set the price of chocolate pick. That's why. Is everyone else good? Yeah, okay, we're good. But no, I mainly play single player games, to be honest. Uh, RPG is a role-playing game, and an MMO RPG is a massively multiplayer online role-playing game. World of Warcraft, uh, World of Tanks, uh, I'm to think of, like, other good examples. YouTube! One of my favorite YouTubers plays it. Last stream I was playing The Forest, and I have to say, getting punched in the face by a baby who lunged at me out of the dark really kind of took its toll, <laughs> which is why I'm taking a break. I'm, I, I need a little break from mutants and deformed babies and burning them alive and such. I just want something real chill. If you want a better concept of uh, the type of content that I do, you can check out my YouTube channel at Black Hat Studio. Hey, but this is this game's worth buying. I've enjoyed the time I've spent watching it. I've enjoyed the time I've spent playing it. I, th I think it's worth the money. It's uh, seventeen dollars Canadian, so probably like twelve American. Actually, no, they're probably gouging you at fifteen. I've been on Twitch since. 15 months, I think. I started uh, not this May, but last May, I believe. I'm but a small channel. The small kitty making my way in the world. Oh wow, flour is really in demand. I'll be streaming other games. So I stream uh, every Tuesday, Thursday at 2.30 p.m. PST, 5.30 p.m. EST. And then I put out videos five times a week on at Black Hat Studio. And my stream VODs go out on at Black Cat streams twice a week. On YouTube. But I will be streaming uh, more of the forest. Coming up, I will be streaming Path of Exile eventually. And 
we've been watching, we've been playing a whole bunch of Dead Rising, oops, wrong button, Dead Rising 2, which is going up on the channel as a Let's Play. On in chat and I have been doing, uh, uh, Dead Rising 2 together, so it's been fun. I have not tried, uh, have we tried any other simulator games? Hmm. I don't think so. No. I'm not really a simulator game person, honestly. This just game just happens to... I don't know. It's simple enough to me that I can just chill out and play it and not really think much about it. Like, I've, I've watched people play brief amounts of Euro Truck Simulator or, like, Farming Simulator or things like that, and they always seem really complicated <laughs> like they're trying to be as realistic as possible and i i don't really want realism in my games to be honest i just want to chill or i want to blow things up i don't own any consoles i have a pretty powerful computer there's not really a point having a console i respect that other people like to play on consoles and they like the experience of playing in a living room with a tv I, it's not my thing. I will very rarely use a controller for certain games, like Overcooked 2. That game is definitely better with a controller, but most games I am a PC keyboard and mouse player. I don't have the built-up skill to use a controller with any efficiency, so I just end up... I don't know. Being really inefficient, and I don't like that. Oh, the specs for this game can't be anything, really. I can only imagine it's small. Let's see. Uh, four gigs of RAM. It's five gigs of hard drive space. It runs like a dream, but that's not really saying anything because I have a powerful computer. You can probably run it on one gig. Uh, I don't really know. I think I'm probably going to go for about three hours, so another two and a half hours, most likely. Most of my streams sit somewhere between three and four hours. Sometimes I call it a bit early, like two and a half, if I'm tired. I am tired, but I... I don't think this is the type of game where I'll be spending a huge amount of energy, so I'll probably play this for a while. Let's see. Okay, I need bread. And flour. Feed. Fur. And I need susu. And I need some more oil. The oil. There we go. And poiches. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Well, feel free to follow the channel if you like it. Love to have you if you enjoy it. You can enjoy my deranged commentary. Thank you for the raid, chill and trying. I am not familiar with your channel. I really appreciate it, though. Welcome, raiders. <laughs> awesome. Glad to see so many cool people. I I am a Twitch streamer. I do also do YouTube, but I split my time between the two. I do five videos a week on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday on YouTube. And I do two streams a week at 2.30 p.m. PST, 5.30 p.m. EST on Tuesdays and Fridays. How do I drop? G. G for good drop, right. That was silly of me. No, thanks. How's your supermarket going? You've been getting very pretty far. Mm. 
Nightbot, you really don't have to go that hard. I'll take some more pasta. Nice! So you're pretty fucking far in there. Have you named your shop yet? Okay, thanks for coming, Cynthia. Have a great day. It was very kind of you to raid, though. I really appreciate it. Yep, slowly trying to build up the channel. I really like streaming, and I really like... Work, doing stuff on YouTube, so I'm trying to find a happy medium. Nice. How fast are the self checkouts? I've been, I haven't seen, I haven't actually had a chance to see it yet. I've watched some of this on YouTube, and I've watched friends play this, so... Ooh, how does it compare to having someone checking out your... your like, having a uh, cashier? Because the cashiers seem really, really slow. Cool. Well, I mean, e even if it's on par, it's still going to be better since you don't have to pay someone every day, so not bad. I know that the self-checkouts are more expensive, but, like, in the long run, I feel like it would, it would definitely save you money quickly. Huh. I mean, that's pretty good. Ooh, since you play this game too, uh, I I want to note this because I found it really cool. So you know how customers will complain if the price is, off, is like too expensive or whatever? I've set all my prices to even numbers. And like they're overpaying for, for sugar by a little bit. And there was one they were really overpaying by. Or was it? Or has it changed? Yeah, they're overpaying 29 cents for flour, but I've yet to have a single... Oh, they're paying overpaying 50 cents for oil, and I've yet to have a single person complain. I was really surprised. Maybe they're just not as demanding yet? It just... It makes everything so easy, right? It's so nice. Do you have any tips for me? Since you're the uh, veteran player. <laughs> oh, fuck. I didn't even see him there. <laughs> That's fair. Have you... Not to keep asking you questions, but I have yet to notice any actual impact of unhappy customers on... on, like, anything. Like, maybe it's not implemented yet? Or maybe I just don't understand what, what negative reviews give you? Or don't give you? Like, it's not told me anything about, uh... Oops. About people being negative having an effect, so. Hey, I should have bills today. That was all paid up. Get more licenses. 
I absolutely don't want the first product, product license. I don't know why they put this as the first one when it's has a bunch of refrigerated shit in it. It feels like it shouldn't be the very first thing. Oh, I think it might be in a later update. I think you don't have any competition, so it doesn't matter. Oh, yeah. I mean, you don't actually need to remember to pay them as long as you always have enough money. Technically, if you don't... I don't know when they get paid. When, like, they get paid automatically. Like, if it's before you stock or however that works. But if you always leave a, uh, a float... Not a float. If you always leave a buffer of the amount your bills are worth, technically you could just always ignore them. I pay them on I pay them manually just because I'm a control freak and I really like to know exactly how much is going on, but Yep, they auto pay. It's when their due date comes up they auto pay. Yeah, no, they won't they won't just get they won't let you get away with uh <laughs> with just not paying. <laughs> Oh, it's one of these fucks. Thing with a fucking hundred for a $16 thing. We hate you. We hate people like you. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if you've actually worked retail before, but I have worked retail before, and trying to break hundreds is like an act of concern <laughs> i've definitely had to turn people away being like i don't have any i don't have the change for you do you want 50 do you want 50 loonies that's the best i can do oh uh. wants me to buy a product license, I definitely do not want to buy the refrigerated product license first. Fuck that. Do you have a streaming schedule, Chill? I'll try and check out one of your streams if I can, if it fits into my schedule. Oh, right. It's enter. Han Nolan chat actually taught me something really cool that I love. As long as you're able to, like, interact with something, you can teleport to it. So I can just teleport around very easily or teleport over to here. You can actually, like, you can just, like, teleport over to here. Like, you don't even have to go all the way around. You can just do this. I know here. I love that. I like to buy the shelving slash fridge units before the license. Okay, yeah, yep, yeah, that makes sense. I do want to add some more shelving. So I think I'll do that today. Furniture. Furnitures? Oh, the company that makes this must be ESL. Or, yeah. It must not be, like... Uh, made by a native English speaker, because furniture is a singular and plural word. Oh, 
Oh, this is how you set the colors. Cool. There we go. Oh, it's so cute and blue. Cool. I was ready to stop by on a Monday then. Mondays are just uh, upload days for me, so. I mean, usually, well, I mean, I usually do stuff on Mondays too, but. I should be able to make it. Actually, wait. Before I do this. I make... I change this at all. The six products, I could do... A massive amount of each. Okay, so that works. Okay, so none of that works. Yeah, I, I'm gonna try though. Okay, so I have a big box now. I need a small box. Just give me a choco pick box and an oil box. Are you... Do you know if you can, um... Use paint on shelves? Like... It's kind of ugly now that I don't... That my other shelves are the wrong... Wrong color. And I don't know if you... I don't think you can sell the shelves. I move this? No. This, yes. Is everything? Yeah, everything's about the way that I want it to be now. Okay, so I have two different types of boxes now. I'll keep those. Okay, now I can stock up a lot. So I can take three sugars, three flowers. I can take two bread. Uh, let's grab one pasta and one oil, just because I don't want to... I want to make sure I have enough... What? Wait, what? Oh, you can only have so many items. Okay. Pasta, one oil. Did I get sugar? I've already forgotten. I'll, I'll figure it out. I really like this outfit. It's very simple, but I like this. Oh my gosh, she even has a red hair tie. That's so cute. Okay, I'll stop getting distracted. Alright, this is a new type of box. Weird that drop is G. That throws me off. <laughs>
Oh, wait, I can do that thing where I throw stuff. I don't care if their bread gets squished. No, not that. Okay. Hey, I'm just happy you came at all. Hope you have good food. I'm more bread. I am the bread defeat. Fuck this place up with bread. The bread fucker. Wait, no. No, let's not say it that way. <laughs> uh, it is unfortunate I can't mark the stream as mature manually. Or if there's a way, I don't know. Okay, so I need two more oil and two more taco. Oil, taco. Oh no, I don't have enough. Mare? No. Mare? Mare. Mare. That works. I have a stupid idea. I'm gonna start chucking boxes into the road. And I wonder what size of pile can I make <laughs> before the game has a problem with me. I have all my... All my random boxes. There. There. And I'll put you there. Can I grab... Okay, cool. I can actually just grab things like that. Wait, can I just... I can just throw it right. I forgot. bills yet. Eh. Probably. I think I paid them before I did all this shit. Oh, that's weird. I didn't realize if you alt-tab, it freezes time. That's real weird. buy a lot of oil. I buy a bottle of oil, and it lasts for like six months. <laughs> oh, 
啊，我走了Hey, Mr. Twin. They're slowly adding more and more models to this game, and eventually we're actually going to have enough models that you won't be consistently seeing twins of things. Hey, Ron! Welcome to the stream. We're playing Supermarket Simulator today. I'm having a chill stream. Because I'm EP. Changing, changing your, I don't know what I would call it. Changing how you, like, the sets of things that you do regularly. I guess that'd be routine. Changing your routine is exhausting. I'm pretty happy, though. I went for a walk in nature today. I don't usually do that. That was pretty nice. Mind you, drink water, everyone. I was about to say that her outfit looks nice until I saw her soulless eyes, and I'm like, well, that's unsettling. Customers will leave. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. For the very first time, we had a customer say that uh, something was too expensive for them. Oh shit, I haven't been paying attention to what prices change in the, the mornings. Should be checking that. Did this price change much? No, it's the same. Okay, so they're just complaining about the exact same thing I've had for a while. Oh my gosh, I hear a big wolf boy in the background. Romeo's excited about something. I don't know what my best selling product is so far. Weirdly enough, I think it's flour. That doesn't make a huge amount of sense. Especially in such an urban setting. Bread making is kind of like something that people do when they have time. Usually in urban settings, people have way less time. Because unfortunately, you gotta work your butt off so that you have enough money to afford living there. And making bread will not save you enough money for it to matter. Yeah, I, I think it just makes the NPCs pick up, like, a selection of random items, more or less. I think, if I were to guess, the way that they do it is, it's like a 1 in 10, okay. They have, like, a 1 in 10 chance that they pick up 3 of an item, a 2 in 10 chance that they pick up 2, a 3 in 10 chance that they pick up 1, 
and a four in ten chance they pick up nothing of an item, and then they just go through the list. I think that's how I would do the RNG for this at least. Do I need to close the shop? Can I just... Okay. Oh no, Ron, your sliced bread went down in price. That's oh, 328. Okay. And I think pasta went up? No, nope, that's still close enough. I don't want to deal with cents. Doesn't make sense. <laughs> okay. One sugar, two chocolate pick. And I want two pasta. And two oil. Two flour. And one bread? Well, I can only take ten items anyway, so we'll see where we fit after this. Boxes just go through people. Food. But I want to bean someone with a box full of bread. It's my kink. What type of video game is this that I can't express myself as a player? <laughs> Satisfying sound. Filling the shelves. You know, I tech I can just go up to the garbage and throw them out, but I'm seeing how big a pile I can make. You know, just to be a public menace. I could actually deal with the problem instead of just throwing them out there, but where's the fun in that? When I can just raise hell instead. That's like the very, very reason for my existence is to raise hell. Didn't let the world off so easily as to not have to deal with me. <laughs> Chef. Market. And pay the bills. There's a big box. Rotate. Oh, that's going to bother me. There we go. Now it's flush. Okay. That's just for future stuff. Oh, 
Also, I found out something. The... This tree here has a bounding box. Now, what that means is that instead of, like, like it has collision, you can interact with it and move around it. Now, what that also means is you can climb it. I figured that out by being flung up into the tree by a van because I was fucking around. Damn it. I hit a branch. I'm trying to parkour. Maybe I should go into a different part of the tree. Nope, that's not that doesn't have collision. Okay, no, I can't jump far enough. Oh, because I wasn't sprinting. Okay. No, oh, I can do this. I can I get out of bounds? Wait, hold on a second. I need to save this. Cat climbing a tree, of course. Hey! I It's rude because it's true. No! God damn it! Oh, the air conditioner doesn't have collision. Shit. Um. Hmm. Maybe the fire escape does. Here, get. Who left all these boxes out there? What? Did... Uncon inconvenient dickhead. Consider it inconvenient. Oh, okay. It does have collision. But does it have collision? Is it fully collision mapped out? As in, like, just like a rectangle? Or can I actually jump in between and climb it? I really am enjoying climbing simu- I mean, supermarket simulator. Okay. Hmm, I'm hitting the top area. Ladder? Oh my gosh, it has proper collision. Oh, wait, what? Oh. Okay, that doesn't. It has somewhat proper collision. Okay, so these ladders aren't actually there. The ladder ladders don't have collision. Oh! Okay, so now I understand. The rails don't have collision either. So these are just like these are just two-dimensional rectangle or two-dimensional rectangles here. Hello, Lemon Cloud GT. Welcome to the channel. I'm figuring out what I can break in Supermarket Simulator. <laughs> okay, no, ow. Whatever, I should actually run my supermarket, you know, the thing that I'm supposed to be doing. I'm an adult. Hmm. Well, hello, Lemon. Bang. Don. I meant. How are you doing today? This man looks like he just ate a lemon. Oh no, run Lemon Cloud. He's after you. This is the man. This this is your enemy. I'm just sitting here bobbing to the music. Complete 100 checkouts all on your own. Consider hiring a cashier. Is that 
Yeah, consider hiring a cashier too. I'm gonna 100% this game, seeing as it only has three achievements. Check out 50 people, check out 100 people, and get all expansions. Hmm. Oh no, this game is lulling me into, like, a really calm mode, rather than... ...stream mode. Oh, actually, I need to move over the... Okay, something's a bit not good. To change where the bounding box is. Over. Uh, is that. There we go. Now you'll be able to actually like, properly see the uh, the AM, PM, and the uh, dollars and cents. Seriously, why do people buy two flour? I barely use one flour. <laughs> Maybe I should be using my numpad. I do have a numpad. And I do use it regularly. But I just don't use it for this game yet. There's, I know there's a locked door here. I don't know what it's to, and I've been wondering that for a while, because I've seen people unlock the storage in this game, and that's not the storage. Which confuses me. These are just all flat sizes. Oh, I see why it's a big deal to unlock all the expansions. This, or on, like, all the expansions to your store. This is 160,000. Hmm. hmm. I want to get storage soon. Oh well, not important yet. Oh yeah, that is really fast with my numpad. Love that. This is going to be day... F I think this is day four. I wonder if there's a way to check what day you're on without seeing it just at the end of the day. I know you see what day you're on at the end of the day with, like, the whole Bailey summary, but...
wants the last minute customers. Okay, so you can't use the numpad for this. Okay, so that was day five. Okay. So we are going to go on a quick few minute break. For those on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you very much. And I hope you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.